Hey guys, what's going on? I have just finished this thing right here. It is a mini Kanabo baseball bat mod. Yeah. So it's like a Kanabo, but also a baseball bat and, and, and mini. Yeah. So I'm sorry I haven't been uploading that much lately. I've had school, I've had college applications, and it's just been a real pain. But college applications are almost done, and then I'll be able to get back to this way more. So besides that, I don't really, I don't really have an intro to do besides like the, the quick mini update with Digger. So hmm. Yo, let's throw up some effects. Whoa! Oh my God! Is is it that weird and wacky? Let's let's see how to build this. Okay. So for this build, you're gonna need an itty bitty little baseball bat. Some 8x32 threaded rod, some epoxy of any kind, and a whole bunch of drawer knobs. Specifically, you're going to need 24 of these. I got these on Amazon in a pack of 25 for about 20 bucks. I recommend going through Amazon and not your hardware store, because the hardware store is going to cost you an arm and a leg. Also, it's your choice for what you want to do with the hardware, because we're not going to need it. I recommend getting a miscellaneous hardware jar for all your miscellaneous hardware needs. So for 24 drawer knobs, there's going to be 6 rows with 4 drawer knobs each. Every other row is going to be a bit offset so they can all fit on the bat. Also in each different row, there's going to need to be 2 separate levels so that the rods don't cross. Now since I really don't want to use marker to mark all the lines that I'm going to be drilling, I'm going to use string instead. Now mark out the holes. Every row should be separated by an eighth an inch, and every column should be separated by half an inch. After I finish that, I realized that the rows should be spaced out by an inch and a quarter and not an inch, but you know, now it looks all patriotic, and that's pretty cool. Then just take off all the crap and drill the holes. Since this is round, you're gonna need to notch every mark you're gonna drill so it gives something for the drill bit to catch on to. Now just drill out your holes. And once you have it all cleaned up, you have a fine Swiss product. Get, get it? Because it's holy? Get the cheese? Get, get it? Ah, you get it. You get it. To get the aesthetic that I want, I'm going to have to paint it now, and I'm going to be using a nice bright yellow. Just kidding, I'm using flat black. And a good way to let it dry is to use just threaded rods like this. And now that it's nice and generically black, you can start making this weapon a weapon. To do this, thread one of the drawer knobs onto the rod. Stick it through. And mark a quarter of an inch. Ah, and that's where you're going to want to cut. And that's the length you're going to want for all of these. Now I can start using a steel stick to bond everything together. And if you're wondering why these two are bent, it's because I mismeasured the top ones on the back.
Now that we have all our parts, let's put it together and tighten everything down. And here it is all nice and done. And you're gonna have one of these left and that's, you can do whatever you want with it. And that is the end of this build. I've made yet another extremely top heavy bat. A huge thank you to my great friend Gowan Keen. He funded this entire build and I'm gonna go give that to him now. Now all I gotta do is call up Gowan and get him over here. the hell?